the rays of light are when you see someone like Sam Kerr, um, who's only just turned 24, and, when, and you see the maturity, you see the growth um, of the player. I've known Sam since he was possibly 13 or 14. So to see the trials and tribulations and, and the maturity of, of the young player turning into what she's turned into now um, is really an amazing story and, and a gift for our team. So. Five years worth of the same ranking. <coughs> Pardon me, the first thing that happened, Lisa Devanna piped up. Question? Yep. It's not our fault. Okay, this will be interesting. Why is that, Lisa? Why is it not your fault? We don't play enough games. It's not our fault. I said, well, it's actually not based on how many games you play. It's based on how many games you win. I don't think I've, I've seen a lot of media reports where we beat three of the top ten teams in the world and all of a sudden we're the best team in the world. I don't think it works like that. I don't think you can beat Roger Federer once and say you're the best tennis player in the world. I think when you can beat Roger Federer 15 times in a row, then you're the best tennis player in the world. We've beaten America once in history. They've beaten us 20 times. Our challenge is how do we get consistent so that we can beat these top ten teams every single time we play them. Having been around the team for probably since 2003, uh, whether it was as a video analyst or whether it was as an institute coach providing players, to be brutally honest, I wasn't a big fan of the culture within the group. I never thought it was a culture that, that had high expectations, that had the immense professionalism that I think we need to be a top-ranked nation. It was a team that displayed the characteristics of a 10th-ranked team that wanted to stay number 10.